Let's try out a challenging linear functions problem dealing with profit and revenue. You buy 500 burgers for $400. Your profit was $100 once you sell 300 burgers. Write the equation that represents your profit P as a function of the number of burgers sold B. So this question here deals with profit. You really should memorize this formula that profit is equals to revenue minus costs. Now revenue can be broken down to two parts. It's going to be the price per burger, price per item, times the number of burgers sold. Number sold, and we'll call this B. That's our variable B. So based on this formula, we can plug in some information. You buy 500 burgers for $400. You buy lots of stuff and you sell lots of stuff. Your business here involves costs. So your cost here is 400. So your profit is $100. So we'll just say 100, that's the p-value, is equals to once you sell 300 burgers. So we already talked about the cost. The cost here is gonna be $400. Now the key here is that you are selling 300 burgers. The number of items sold, B is 300. So we'll just say 300 times the price per item. We'll just write price per item. Notice that we have a bunch of numbers in this equation, however only one unknown. So we can solve for the price per item. So we'll say that 300 times price per item, I'll just call this price per item is equals to 100 plus 400, which is 500. I'm just adding 400 to both sides. So the price per item is equals to 500 divided by 300, which is the same thing as 5 over 3. This here is the price per item. Each burger, the price is set at over a dollar. So now that we solve this unknown variable, let's uh, plug this result back into the original formula. So P, we want P in terms of a general Y value, is equals to, and this is price per item, which is 5 over 3, that's 5 over 3 dollars, times the number of sold, which is B, minus the cost. This is the revenue, minus the costs. And the cost here, we said, is guaranteed, guaranteed to be $400. So this here is a nice linear function, which is very useful. Let's just test this out to see if it works. The original question says, we make a profit of 100 once we sell 300 burgers. So let's just test it out here. So P is equals to 5 over 3 times 300 minus 400. Is this true? 300 divided by 3 is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. 500 minus 400 indeed is 100. So the profit here is 100 and our, seems that our equation here is correct. Now think about how useful this is. Imagine we want to know what the profit is if we sell 400 burgers or we want to see how much we lose if we sell only 100 burgers. We can just plug in different B values or we can even plug in a P value to go backwards and find out what the B value should be. Now it's interesting to note that we bought 500 burgers to resell. So theoretically, I'm not allowed to plug in a number bigger than 500 because then we'd try to be calculating the profit for burgers that we don't have. So this question is a bit tricky because we have to remember this formula and then compute out a certain result and re-plug it back, back in to derive this general relationship between profit and number of burgers, which is essentially your, your y and x values. Please don't confuse this question as you're reading it with your classic graphing two points questions. When you have two points, x, y coordinates, you can find the equation of the line, but this question is a bit different because to graph two points on an equation of a line and determine the equation of the line, we have to be talking about the same x and y values. We're talking about money, money, and burgers, burgers. However, when you think about it, profit is not equivalent to this money value here. This money value here is your costs. They're not exactly talking about the same Y value. Great job. If you can master this question, I wish you the best in your profitable business one day.